If you're stuffing your suitcase and flying this holiday season, you don't want to get hit with overweight luggage charges. CBS 2 News has obtained inspection reports from local airport scales, and investigative reporter David Goldstein has the breakdown on which airports and airlines passed and failed. We're going to Sue Gibbs and her friends and families are at LAX heading on vacation. Four big ones. They don't want to get hit with added charges they don't deserve for overweight luggage. They charge so much once you get here and if you're over one pound, you're a goner. But look at this video we obtained of a scale at LAX. It shows a 50 pound weight coming in at 53, 100 pounds at 109. A faulty scale like this could cost you big bucks no matter where you fly out of. We're going home to Wyoming. Jessica Windsor and eight-month-old son Levi are checking their duffel bags at Ontario Airport, heading home after visiting Grandma and Marietta. To do a service to the public, I think it would be nice to know that the scales are right on and they're weighing in correctly. That's what we wanted to know. So before you head off for the holidays toting that overstuffed suitcase, we obtained dozens of pages of inspection reports of airport luggage scales at LAX, John Wayne, Bob Hope, and Ontario airports. Many passed inspection. Perfect. But it only takes one for you to get hit with those big fees. We found reports of scales labeled abnormal performance, complaints by passengers of incorrect weights that were validated, and some marked RT, red tagged, taken out of service. All of the counties inspect the luggage scales once a year. It's mandatory. Here at LAX, there are more than 400 scales. Each one has to be certified. Using these weights, Leland Anderson checks the scales for the county. 25 in the middle. Perfect. From big weights. 250. Perfect. To the smallest. We're going to add one tenth of one pound goes right to 50. If they pass, they get this county seal, but some flunk the way in. Scales are not perfect. They are electrical devices. They're subject to uh, wear and tear, um, abuse, people jumping on them. 53 pounds. He took the video of this Delta scale at LAX last February. It registered six pounds with nothing on it. 53 pounds with a 50 pound weight. You might think that's not much, but three pounds over the 50 pound limit on Delta would cost you 90 bucks in overweight baggage charges. So here's what you need to know before flying. According to the reports, 94% of the scales at LAX passed routine inspections, 98% at John Wayne Airport, 100% at Bob Hope, but only 73% passed inspection at Ontario Airport. Overall, some flunk for accuracy, others mechanical problems. A few even came in underweight in favor of the passengers. All were eventually corrected. Broken down by the major airlines at all four airports, on American, 37 scales passed inspection, none failed. Southwest, 33 passed, none failed. U.S. Airways, 24 passed, one failed. United, 66 passed, two failed. And Delta had 40 scales pass inspection, but 12 failed, according to the reports we obtained. A recent nationwide study of baggage fees by the Bureau of Transportation shows Delta has taken in the most money this year, nearly a half billion dollars, far more than American, which came in second, and U.S. Air, which is third. That includes all money collected for baggage. So how do you know if your suitcase is really overweight? Well, they recommend weighing your bag on another scale at the airport before checking in. It should show the exact same amount. We would not be paying the extra. Good advice so your vacation doesn't get weighed down. 53 pounds. With heavy fees you don't deserve. I'd rather spend it on a Mai Tai. Than David Goldstein, CBS2 News. <laughs> okay. Well, you can go to our website at cbsla.com for a list of how all of our local airlines fared in the inspections. Plus, you can find out how much it will cost you if your suitcase is overweight.